Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Last week an international press conference in front of the Great Pyramid of Egypt announced the discovery of a new pyramid passageway. 9 meters long, 2 meters wide and just over 2 meters tall, located behind the chevron blocks on the north face of the Great Pyramid. It is therefore now commonly referred to as the North Face Corridor, or NFC for short. The discovery has got everybody talking. Everyone with an interest in the Great Pyramid has something to say, and I'll do a separate video on various hypotheses in the coming weeks and months. I know that my friend that runs the fantastic History for Granite channel is working on a deep dive into the North Face Corridor as well, so please do subscribe to his channel, because he really is the most meticulous pyramid researcher on YouTube. My friend Keith Hamilton, who is also one of the best independent pyramid researchers, has just released a new paper about the discovery on his academia page. 17 pages long and packed full of facts, photographs and diagrams. In this video, one week after the announcement, I'm going to take a closer look at the corridor, using Hamilton's paper as a main source of information because I do think we should keep the conversation going. The idea of a horizontal corridor in and around the chevrons on the north face of the pyramid is not something new, with Julien Bruchet speculating about a space in 1965, Jules Dormian and Jean-Patrice Goyden in 1986, and also the brilliant French architect Jean-Pierre Houdin. The exact positioning of the speculated corridor was not always correct, but the strange masonry on the north face has always hinted there is something more to find. The large chevron blocks stand out like a sore thumb, and have perplexed researchers for decades. Are they just there to relieve weight to protect the descending passageway, as many do claim? Do they go deeper into the pyramid, or are they just on the northern edge? Why are they so close to where the casing stones would have been? The puzzling nature and function of the chevron blocks is why speculation of a hidden corridor began, but now we know that such speculation was not unfounded because a corridor has been discovered. Dormian suggested it would run all the way to the Grand Gallery, a more direct route to the heart of the pyramid, as opposed to always going down the descending passageway and up the ascending passageway. This view was shared by French architect Jean-Pierre Houdin, who shows how, in his detailed model, a horizontal passageway from the north face also links up with a yet undiscovered set of chambers inside the pyramid, something he calls the Noble Circuit. But the idea of a hidden entrance corridor has always been just speculation, and based purely on the presence of the chevron blocks on the north face. So, when the Scan Pyramids mission released their first set of cosmic muon scan results in 2016, many pyramid researchers were rightly excited, and for Jean-Pierre Houdin his structural analysis of the north face was validated. The muography scan showed a small void behind the chevrons, but more confirmation was required before any intrusive methods of investigation could even be considered. In 2016, although there was a void there, we did not know the specific shape, size or orientation. So, from 2016 to 2019, more muon detectors were installed in the pyramid, in various different places and last week the latest set of results were published, and they do show the exact position, shape and size of the corridor. As it says in the new paper, the shape of the NFC, defined as a rectangular cuboid, was estimated to have a width of 2.02 meters, plus or minus 0.06, a height of 2.18 meters, plus or minus 0.17, and a length of 9.06 meters, plus or minus 0.07. The NFC appears to stop at the south side, and simulation confirmed that there is no structure with a cross section of more than 1 meter by 1 meter further to the south. 
The bottom plane of the North Face Corridor is located 20 meters from ground level. The east-west central axis of the corridor lines up with the centre of the chevrons, and directly above the descending passageway. The corridor is also directly behind the outer chevrons. I mean there is just one block thickness between the corridor and the outside world. All the findings from the muon scans were also confirmed by ultrasound, ground penetrating radar and infrared thermography and this paved the way for an endoscopic camera to be inserted through a gap in the masonry under the lowest chevron. As Keith Hamilton says, my understanding is that no drilling was required in this operation, which begs the question, why was this not done decades ago? And that is a very good question, especially with the amount of attention and speculation the chevrons have received over the years. Here is where the endoscope was inserted, and although fantastic footage was shared with the world, this is the only view of the corridor we have. But I'm sure the endoscope must have gone much further inside, and explored it in full detail. I would very much like to know when new footage and photographs will be available. But the view we have does show that the upper chevron blocks we see on the pyramid's northern face do extend for the full 9 meters into the pyramid, giving the new corridor a chevron roof. But then we reach what looks like a dead end, as shown in the artist's impression by Scan Pyramids. The corridor is different to more traditional pyramid passages. It's not cramped, and you don't have to be hunched over if inside. A full grown adult can stand up with arms outstretched no problem. As we can see, the chevron roof beams do look to be well finished, and we can see a series of notches, probably there for wooden support beams during construction. But the wall blocks do look rough and unfinished, and it looks like at least three blocks cover the end of the corridor. Towards the end we can see one of the floor blocks is raised. On the west wall towards the end, a block of stone is seen sticking out into the corridor, also shown on this artist's impression. Is it just a badly fitted irregular wall block, or is it a specific blocking stone with a purpose? Obviously at this stage we can't know for sure. And to be honest, we don't know a great deal more at this time, but the discovery does open the door for a multitude of interpretations that will no doubt follow. Zahi Hawass has already speculated the corridor is a weight relieving device, similar to the relieving chambers above the king's chamber, and he believes it is possible that the corridor is protecting the true burial chamber of Khufu directly underneath which being so close to the outside is extremely unrealistic, and it's also a very bizarre claim, because no chamber beneath the corridor was picked up in the latest round of muon scans, and muon detectors were placed in Alma Moon's tunnel, and also the descending passageway. But regarding the location of Khufu's burial chamber, it seems that over the years Hawass keeps changing his mind, from being below the Queen's Chamber, to behind one of the small doors seen in the Queen's Chamber shafts, and also of course the King's Chamber. Furthermore, just before the North Face Corridor was confirmed by ground penetrating radar, in a lecture in Stockholm in December 2022, he publicly said he still did not believe in radar. People use radar, use radar all the time, to reveal the secret of the gate there. But I don't really believe in radar. So, I think the idea of a Khufu burial chamber below the corridor was merely a media friendly soundbite, and it's really not to be taken seriously. Something observed by many people so far is that if we extend the North Face Corridor, it goes all the way to the northern end of the Grand Gallery, the heart of the pyramid's internal passageway system, so it is possible we're looking at a longer corridor that was once open. Hamilton wonders if such a corridor was used during the pyramid's construction, so workers did not have to always navigate the awkward descending passageway ascending passageway junction. A straight corridor would provide workers with an easy way inside.
for example, to get long scaffolding inside to finish the higher echelons of the Grand Gallery, to remove any debris and so on. But of course, right now, all we can do is speculate, because the North Face Corridor is just 9 meters long. There is a blockage at the end that's made up of at least 3 stones, and even if the corridor did once extend into the pyramid, it could have been purposefully backfilled with well placed limestone blocks, rubble or sand, and this would be to keep the pyramid secure. This would make a longer corridor undetectable in the modern era. It wouldn't show up on muon scans or geophysical techniques. So, just because muon scans have not picked up a longer corridor, does not mean it's not there. A corridor may have continued straight, it may have been inclined in places, and it could have come out anywhere on the northern wall of the Grand Gallery. Unless of course it did bypass the Grand Gallery, and lead to another set of chambers and passages altogether. Ones that link up with the big void identified by the Scan Pyramids mission in 2017. This video is really just a brief addendum to my video last week, and it would be great if all the pyramid researchers took the time to consider the form and function of the North Face Corridor. For interested parties, I've linked Keith Hamilton's new paper in the description below, as well as a link to the History for Granite channel, because I'm aware he's working on a fantastic deep dive on the new discovery, and we always learn something on that channel, so please do subscribe. Then there is the work of my friend Jean-Pierre Houdin and more. I've left some useful links in the description below. Following this, I too am working on a new video, explaining how the corridor fits in with my Great Pyramid Hypothesis from 2020, of a Great Pyramid extension that took place during construction in the 4th Dynasty. So please subscribe and hit the bell icon for updates and alerts. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.